digital learning channel. Today's quick tip is about something that's being added to iOS 14. And this is called Scribble. Apple has added a tool that makes the Logitech crayon and the Apple Pencil way more versatile when you're a type of teacher who likes to move around and work with the iPad instead of having to use a keyboard on your MacBook. And so for example, right now I'm in notes, I have my Logitech crayon, and I can start with my markup tool, and you're gonna see a brand new tool at the very bottom that's a marker with a letter A. What this is going to allow me to do is on the fly be able to write with my pencil, but it inputs it as text. So as I write, you see it typing it for me and deleting the text. So this is really handy for those of you who really like to write while you're teaching, take notes, show the kids, but then also utilize it being stored as text. Also with that text, I can circle a word to highlight it, I can scribble that word out to delete it, or if I have some letters all together, I can also swipe between those letters and it gives me a space. So lots of utilities built into that very simple tool. This also works in any app that has a text box. So for example, here I am in Safari, and as I'm teaching, I'd like to search for something without having the big keyboard take up some of my space. So I'm just going to tap with my Logitech crayon in that text box, scribble out the word that's there, and then I can type in butterfly. Maybe we're showing pictures of butterflies. And just like that, it's going to type it for me. At the bottom, you're gonna see the search bar. So this is gonna work in pages, numbers, keynote, anywhere that you'd like to input text, you can just start writing and it will bring that text in there for you. The next feature of Scribble I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna switch over to my marker. What's really nice about this is I can write, just like I did earlier, but instead of turning it into text, it's gonna keep it as a written text. But what's nice is now I can select that text and when I tap it, you're gonna see a new feature that says copy as text. So I can actually copy this as text. And if I were to go into a different app and paste, it's gonna paste my writing as text. So maybe some of you really like to write with your hand and then be able to save that as text for later. It's gonna be super handy. What else is nice about this is shapes. Those of you like me who have terrible handwriting, your circles end up looking like this. What's nice is if I draw the circle and pause, perfect circle. Triangle pause, perfect triangle. Square pause, perfect square. So inside of notes, as I'm writing and drawing shapes, this is going to allow me to select text, but also have really nice shapes if I'm making a Venn diagram or something of that nature. There's a lot more features inside of Scribble that you can experiment with. If you have any more questions, as always, please feel free to reach out to your DLS on campus to get more information or email help at lcisd.net.